1975, two students enroll in architecture at the Lebanese University. That same year, gunmen ambush a bus in Ainal Romani, killing 27 passengers. The Lebanese war begins. 1976, Syrian troops enter Lebanon to stop the civil war and to restore peace. 1978, Israel launches a major invasion of Lebanon, occupying land as far north as the Litani River. In 1980, and despite the situation, the two architects have a dream, and Erga comes to life from the rooftop of a building. The situation in Lebanon deteriorates more and more. By 1982, Israel launches a full-scale invasion of Lebanon, reaching West Beirut. President-elect Bashir Jamal is assassinated. His older brother Amin Jamal is elected president. Erga strives to survive the situation, working on a variety of projects, among them the Erga office, a vibrant, inviting space, rich in light, refined materials, and well-defined proportions. 1983, Israel withdraws, ending hostilities and establishing a security region in southern Lebanon. By this time, getting in and out of the country was hard, so Erga Paris was born, a liaison office connecting Lebanon to the rest of the world. Mr. Jabrail would take a helicopter or boat out of Junia to Cyprus and from there to Paris, and from that point operate with the rest of the world. That year, Erga is among the first to move to drafting on computers. Project Rocas Doridas in Spain was the first project to be drawn solely on AutoCAD 1.0. The concept of drafting on a computer at that time was one of Erga's first revolutionary steps. To facilitate work while traveling, Erga also had its first laptop. 1987, Prime Minister Rashid Karami is killed when a bomb explodes in his helicopter. At this point, Lebanon is standing on the edge. Work hours at Erga remain normal, but presence at the office depends solely on the situation. 1988, Lebanon now has two governments. 1989, War of Liberation is declared. Horrifying times. The war reached Erga's door. At one point, the staff of Erga were stuck in the office for days in a row without resources. 1990, the Syrian Air Force attacks and takes the presidential palace in Babda. This day marks the end of the civil war. Lebanon enters its stable period, and an economic boom emerges. The reconstruction of Lebanon has begun. Erga International is founded. 1992, Rafiq Hariri becomes prime minister, and Erga's projects get bigger and bigger. 1994, Solidaire was incorporated, and over the next few years, Erga lands itself the design of 27 buildings and supervision over 35 other sites in Solidaire. Afitech is founded. 1996, Operation Grapes of Wrath. Israel bombs Kana. Erga and all of Lebanon mourn. 1997, Erga Holding and Erga Management are founded. Erga's projects spread to Dubai, Riyadh and Jeddah. 1998, Army Head Amir Lahoud is sworn in as President, succeeding President Harawi. 1999, Erga Group Overseas is founded. Among Erga's projects at this time, the Lebanese Order of Physicians, Al Shalal Leisure Complex, and Mansouri Hospital. 2000, Israel withdraws from southern Lebanon. Erga's projects get numerous and bigger, and are spread all over Lebanon, Saudi, and the UAE. Erga also enters and wins several competitions. By 2004, Erga Saudi Lebanese in Riyadh and Jeddah, and Erga Progress in Dubai are founded. 2005, Rafi Kariri is killed by a car bomb in Beirut. Hundreds of thousands of Lebanese attend pro- and anti-Syrian rallies in Beirut. The assassination era begins. Lebanon is unstable again, but Erga keeps going. Among the major projects are Beirut Gardens, Irene Desert Spa and Resort, Jordan Hotel, Energy City 2, Beirut Gate, Oryx Hills, Pearl of the South, and others. Erga also worked with several famed international architects. That year, Erga Bahrain is founded. 2006, Israel launches air and sea attacks on Lebanon. Civilian casualties are high, and the damage to civilian infrastructure wide-ranging. The situation in Lebanon gets really bad. Lack of electricity and gas make it hard to keep the work going intact, 
At that point, Erga deploys a plan to move outside Lebanon by deploying its key personnel to seven different countries. Teams operating from all these countries work side by side with the main office that never stopped. By the end of that year, Erga Seaside is founded. 2007, President Emile Lahoud steps down and Lebanon is left in a presidential vacuum. Facing all odds, Erga designs Beit Misk, a landmark project in Lebanon. Sama Beirut, the highest tower in Lebanon. Sama Mecca. Riyadh Municipality Headquarters and Zenith Tower. Mag Erga in Morocco is founded. 2008, Parliament elects Army Chief Michel Sliman as president, ending a six-month-long political deadlock. That year, H2 Holding and Erga Qatar are founded. 2009, Lebanon succeeds in forming a government of national unity. Erga Algeria, Erga Pro in Nigeria, Erga Egypt, Erga Syria, Damascus branch and Latakia branch are founded. By this time, Erga is operating in 13 different countries, with projects spreading over more than 23 countries. 2010, in the spirit of reform and awareness from the post-war era and the responsibility towards our natural resources, Erga sets forth a five-year plan to go green, aiming that in five years no project of Erga will come out without any LEED certification. Erga's way of giving back to nature. Among Erga's highlight projects for this year were the Credit Lebanais headquarters, the Lebanese National Library, Al Hadda Development, the Lebanese Waterfront Project, and the Green River of Beirut, to name but a few. But looking back at the last 30 years, the point remains that Erga is a Lebanese company. And against all the odds, Erga thrived and remained proudly a Lebanese company. Despite expanding internationally, it remained true to its roots, with the goal to spread Lebanese ingenuity all over the Middle East as well as the rest of the world. But all this couldn't be possible without the people, the foundation of Erga, the building blocks of its success throughout the years. It is this staff that has made Erga what it is today. Their skill and talent has led the company towards a path of growth and development. Their combined experience and unfailing ability to fulfill work obligations with proficiency and professionalism is why Erga has been able to achieve, prosper and grow. Come and see, hear and feel, sense and savour, understand and appreciate, delight in and admire, Enjoy and celebrate. Come and live the Erga experience.